I'm never going to pay this fine off, and I'm probably going to jail. So back nearly 20 years ago, well before this book was the current lie book, we used to have a small book, half the size. And the benefit of that one was that you didn't have to write in your odometer reading, made for some pretty creative accounting. So in the log book, every page has got three copies. So there is a white copy, which you write on. There is a yellow copy, which is a records copy kept by your employer or by yourself if you're a company. And then there's the pink copy, which is the enforcement copy. Now the yellow copy's gotta be taken out and handed to a uh, record keeper. The pink copy stays in the book and we hope that one never gets pulled out because if that one gets pulled out, the reason it's pink is because you'll scream and cry like a little girl. So cast your mind back to when the old book became the new book and not the new new book, not the one we have nowadays. There was a previous, I think there's been two previous books uh, since the smaller book, but the first of the big books was the introduction of BFM or Basic Fatigue Management. Now, basic fatigue management is the scheme by where you can do a course and you can be authorised to work extended hours, uh, 14 hours work time rather than 12. And then there's AFM, which is advanced fatigue management, which goes above that. But I was working on BFM. On this fateful day, I was pulled into Maroolan southbound. I was full weight. I had a load of contaminated sand coming out of Port Kembla, going down to Port Melbourne to go into concrete. So I was right up on my weights, onto the plate, Yep, weights, all good. I think we might have been 100 kilos here and there, but overall we're okay, because there is a tolerance on each group and an overall tolerance of 250 kilos. I was right up on my weight. Then he decided to measure the truck, uh, make sure it was within length. And then he got really creative and got out the equation to work out the axle spacings to make sure that I could actually use 100% of my available weight. I could, no problem there. He went through the log book, no problems there either. I'm thinking, we're doing pretty well. As he hands me back my license and log book, he goes, oh, one last thing. Have you got your fatigue management paperwork? Yes, I do. And I thought, no problems here. I've got everything under control. I had it all in a folder. I handed him the folder. It had my current BFM certificate. It had my current medical. It had my training certificate. And I knew I was right on the money. So he paged through it and a faint smile appeared on his face and I thought, oh, what have we missed? He goes, have you got the letter? The letter? No, what letter? You haven't got the letter? Oh. If you look at page 10, he says, you'll see a list of what you require to carry. And says, if you are working under BFM hours or AFM hours, you must upon request show the authorised officer the accreditation certificate and signed document from your operator stating you have been inducted into the fatigue management system. Oh no, I haven't got one of them. That's going to be a problem. He says, you haven't got one, you sure? You've got nothing authorising you to use your employer's BFM number. I said, uh, apart from the fact I'm wearing a company uniform, driving a marked truck with the name on the door, and I've got the certificate, no. Right, you're in a spot of bother then, he says. So I was only about 20 pages into the second of my new books. It will say you've got to carry your previous book for the first 28 days of the new book. So he starts tearing out pages because working BFM, it means you can work longer hours. It doesn't mean you have to do 14 instead of 12, but the increments become longer as well. So you can travel up to six hours instead of five and a quarter. So he starts tearing out pink copies. And I think he got about 18 out of that book. He goes, have you got your other book? Uh, yeah. So he takes my other book. A hundred pages in those books. And he must have torn out about 92 of them. And he gets to the back and tucked in the back of it was a little brown book called the Transitional Fatigue Management Safety Handbook. So he flicks through the little book. He gets to the back of it. And he says, now... This isn't the current system. We've moved from transitional fatigue to basic fatigue management. But the book is still in date and it has your details, your employer's details and your employer's signature. So that authorises you to use their system. And with that, he folded up the 100 odd pages of pink copies 
and stuffed them back into the book and handed it back to me. Now, anyone who knows anything about fines for logbooks will tell you one breach is points and a fine. We're talking over a hundred. I'm thinking not only am I never going to drive again, I'm never going to pay this fine off and I'm probably going to jail. That was a scary day. So as I drove out of Maroolan, I was on the phone to the employer saying, you need to write a letter and send it to everyone in the fleet ASAP because this is not going to be a good day for anybody.